When Cassini first hit the tenuous parts of Saturn's atmosphere, it was traveling at 123,000 km per hour. The remnants of Cassini's fuel were deployed by its thrusters to keep Cassini's antenna aimed at Earth. At this point, Cassini was 1,900 km above Saturn's clouds. A minute later, these thrusters were firing at maximum capacity to keep Cassini from spinning out of control. Cassini was directly sampling Saturn's atmosphere, but this atmosphere was also heating Cassini up. Just 10 seconds later, the thrusters were overcome and Cassini began to tumble, cutting off communication with Earth. Cassini's onboard computers at this point would have been trying to figure out what was going wrong. Gyroscopes and star trackers would tell the computer that it is spinning and it would likely have gone into a safe mode to divert power in an attempt to right itself. A minute or so later, the spacecraft would have disintegrated altogether and burned up in Saturn's atmosphere.